and then the truck exploded, and now we're walking the horses down the highway. Fallon Taylor, little lady with a great challenge in front of her. This is Flo. Maybe Flo. <laughs> she wins the world championship. And the winner's circle for that cowgirl. And the victory lap. Ellen Taylor will win. She's riding a new horse, a young horse, out of her champion Flo. She has absolutely been unstoppable. What's up, Flomies? Welcome back to my channel. This one is full of drama and tea. No, but really. And listen, get ready for your mans or you or whoever to come for whatever brands I talk about today because I know that's exactly what's going to happen. This happens every time that I break down. First of all, one, we drive 90,000 miles a year, okay? I don't care what you're driving, you are going to come across some issues. I don't care if you go to two local jackpots a month, you're gonna experience a blowout in a horse trailer. So let's just throw some empathy our way and not call on brand names because anyway, you know what's about to go down. We left you guys with a really fun time in Ashley, North Dakota where Cody won second. I think I won fifth. It was a great time. We have beautiful stalls in Aberdeen, South Dakota, which is very close to Ashley. And we just got in the truck. We met so many amazing people at Ashley. We had a great time. We got in the truck. We're driving. What was funny is I got in my Dodge. Remember last time it was a Ford and everybody was like, get you a Dodge. I was driving my Dodge that I've had for a long time. We came home, we got it, we swapped out. I turned it on and was like, Something just doesn't sound right. No, I thought it was someone else in the parking lot, and I was like, that's, sorry for that, stuff." <laughs> um, it wasn't someone else. It was us. And I was like, something just doesn't sound right. And so I'm like, huh, weird. And so Dad and I made a joke of like, Poppy goes, just turn the radio up. And I'm like, yeah, that's how girls fix things in vehicles. So we just get on about our way. We're talking about the rodeo. Something doesn't feel right. I start to smell something. We're about 30 miles from the stalls. Here we go. We're 30 miles from the stalls. Like, how could I break down? What could possibly happen? I pulled over because I thought I had a flat tire. I look around at the rig. Everything's Gucci. Get in the truck. We're good to go. Literally 30 more miles. We get going just a little bit further and oil spills out all over the highway. I feel this big kerplunk. The motor died. In case you're wondering, I, I thought like I could have some technical terms for you of like, I cracked the block or like 17 other things that I've had happen with trucks. No, literally, the motor is dead. It died. It had its own funeral that moment on the side of the road at 1130 at night, 30 miles from our stalls. 30 miles doesn't... They all want to chime in. Okay, Slowbot. So he's telling his version. 30 miles from the stalls, which doesn't sound that far, right? Because, I mean, we commute a long way to everything that we go to. So 30 miles is like whatever. But it is 11 o'clock at night. Cody gets on the phone calling every tow truck company in the Aberdeen, South Dakota area. Nothing, nobody. They said, we'll come get you at 7 a.m. We'll come get you because you have a horse trailer. Oh, also, um, total and complete shade for the insurance company that you get when you have a horse trailer that says that they'll pick you up when you have horses in your trailer because they were the first and the worst that we called. They were the worst. I've had that insurance for a very long time because I know that AAA won't pick you up or tow you with horses in your trailer. So of course I've had this other insurance that has always worked pretty well until today. So they were like, no, you and your horses are just gonna have to stay on the side of the road. Okay. So amazing people in Ashley that actually know the people we're staying with in Aberdeen, they contacted us via Instagram. We put a, sh a shout out on Instagram. Does anybody know you know, how we can get a hold of a tow truck, whatever. The beautiful, beautiful queen, rodeo queen from Ashley, and well, she's actually the rodeo queen from Rapid City. Um, her amazing family came through with a truck to haul our trailer and horses to the stalls, unhooked, came back, hooked my trailer up, got it um, like off the road to where the stalls are. Absolutely amazing. I'll be honest, we only, 
only throwing a tiny bit of shade at Poppy because he doesn't have YouTube. Um, <laughs> he fall, if you're in an emergency and you're about to panic and lose your mind and you need a ninja problem solver logistics specialist, do not call my father. Okay, I love him. He's amazing, but he legit just was like, what are we gonna do? I mean, the guy is 82 now and has seen every worst case scenario on the planet and still just completely panicked. However, my mother, may she rest in peace, was an absolute ninja problem solver as are all of my friends. So Cody's on the horn doing one thing, I'm on the horn doing the other thing. Poppy is just pacing, looking at his feet recklessly and nervously and asking questions like, what are we gonna do? What are we, ah! And I was like, you go with them, go to the hotel, get you a Coke and a smile, and I will be back later. And of course, he doesn't wanna leave his daughter with a bunch of strangers on the side of the highway at midnight, but I reassured him, like, you need to do that. I'm from Texas, come and take it. So, he did, everybody was good. And then the truck exploded, and now we're walking the horses down the highway where the amazing rodeo queen and her family are helping us <laughs> just reporting home i got to know this amazing family so shout out to them thank you guys so much for all that you did to the stall place in aberdeen thank you so much for housing our horses the next morning <laughs> i forgot about this part yeah i'm replaying it in my mind the next morning this is actually a scene from dumb and dumber so the tow truck driver was really nice. Um, the highway patrol that sat with our rig on the side of the road because he didn't have anything else to do besides guard our rig while we went to take care of the horses was amazing. Everybody was so amazing, okay? So um, the tow truck, dr truck driver and the highway patrol, I got to know them. So we take off. Now we're gonna go to the hotel. I get to the hotel at like 1.30 or two, right? Somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. We go to sleep, alarms are set for 7 a.m. Cody and I get up, go downstairs, have some breakfast, and we're like, okay, here's how we're gonna start the day. That was a Sunday, by the way, so we needed it to be a Monday. Um, so on Sunday, we couldn't do anything, but Monday morning, we can do something. So Monday, we get up, get some breakfast, and we're like, okay, well, let's rent a car. That's step one. So we go to the rental car place, but the only thing is, Aberdeen, you don't have Uber or Lyft. The airport is the only place to get a rental car and the airport is only about a mile and a half away. Well, I don't know if you've walked a mile and a half on highways and streets and towns with no sidewalks in a while, but it's less than luxurious. But here we go, like we were made for this. We take off down the street, telling Poppy nothing. We take off. Tow truck driver sees us walking, pulls over, just like in Dumb and Dumber and goes, what are you guys doing? I'm like, we're going to get a rental car. And he goes, oh, have a good one, and pulls off. And we're just like, bro, Take us to the airport. Cody and I now are walking to the Aberdeen Regional Airport, 1.2 miles from our hotel, which doesn't sound like a lot till you walk. Yeah, you start hoofing it and then you're like, hey. So my plan was get a little SUV, a little SUV to push around town. And then we can feed, make sure the horses are good. And we have an incredible place to stay and an incredible family in town. That helped us last night so we have we have resources now so the service department said they didn't have time to talk to me so that makes me really happy and um so we'll just wait and see from here what happens so needless to say we hoof it over there we're good and sweaty we get to the parking lot we rented a car so we could go around and go truck shopping so that was our big deal is we're gonna find a truck what we didn't pre-plan is that the all of the accessory shops in town would not have a gooseneck hitch so we didn't pre-plan that i thought hey we're doing good if i can go sign a check and buy a truck which is a hard flex i know like i was and really the only option yeah i was really proud of myself that like i'm financially stable enough that i'm able to do this like that was if you can work hard for nothing else in your life it's to have the security to even just rent a car when you are in trouble or replace a tire, that's like financial freedom I've never, it, it just relieves you of all stress. But to be able to buy a vehicle, I was like, okay, this is cool. So here I am, gonna buy a vehicle. Okay, so now the problem is, you know, do we buy an old truck, do we buy a new truck-ish? But I got a new truck on order, we need a ranch truck because I've blown up two trucks this week. Just because they're really old, not because we did anything. But in the meantime, 
this is our issue. So we're working on it. I only jumped in to tighten the screw, so don't make it look like I, uh, here's my hand for proof. Poppy did things and Cody did things. I'm just down here. My hands look like this, so her hands can look <laughs> like that. We left this out. In the arms of an angel, fly away from here. In the arms we tried to crank it. <laughs> we thought, do you want to crank it for the people? Yeah, sure. You ready? Yeah. Sounds like a beaut. Here it comes. A 21-year-old Dodge with all sorts of codes wrong with it that has a gooseneck hitch, or a 2020, yeah, it's a 2020, um, like cab and a half Ford, so not quite a backseat. We've got that little jank backseat thing situation going on, which would be fine if we didn't travel 90,000 miles a year. I digress. It was the only other one. So I got in the Dodge, and that was the one I was going to go with because it was a lot cheaper. Hell, hell a lot cheaper. And I got in it and I thought, what if we get down the road and this thing breaks down and I've just done this to myself again. I've now broken down in a Ford. I've now broken down in a Dodge. My loyalty lies nowhere with no brand. I just need a truck that runs. So I opted to get, after a couple of hours of deliberation, I decided on the 2020 Ford and not the 2000 Dodge, um, just for sake of, you know, reliability and warranty and things like that. So we call her. Of course, because it was in, in Aberdeen. Her name is Katniss Aberdeen. So she has been what has been taking us to every single rodeo. Now, don't forget, I have a 2019 Ford sitting here, King Ranch, ready to roll. But she's already been traded in. I'm waiting on my new truck to get here because we're, the whole country is waiting on a chip. And I can't get my chip. So my 2019 is just sitting here. And I'm just patiently waiting. We needed another ranch truck. I've blown up two trucks in these vlogs so please hit the like button subscribe help a girl support her habit please for the love of god um because that's how the rodeo road goes if everybody tells you that you got to have the right bit the right saddle the right saddle pad listen i agree that you need a lot of the right stuff but what you need more than anything is changeability that you're okay and you're not going to completely come off the rails mentally when things like this happen and you need to make sure that your finances are in order because Horses, vets, trucks, trailers, all of those things can put a lot of stress on you and it's a lot harder to compete with a lot more stress on your back. So anyway, that was it. Now, one little, one little other little story is this truck, Katniss, has got a sensor malfunction, but I didn't know that. And we got like 150 miles down the road and it started blowing all these like sensor, like reduced engine power, pull over immediately, like whatever. And I stepped out of the truck at a gas station to which Cody and Poppy both tried to give me really good resolutions to deal with my anger at the moment, to which I replied, I think I just need to cry now. <laughs> I think we've handled all of this beautifully, and I think now is the time I kick rocks and cry, so I'm just gonna take a walk. So I took a little walk and got back in the truck, and it turns out it was just a sensor, so we're still going strong. Um, yeah, and I have zero brand loyalty to anywhere. I don't care if I'm driving a 1963 jalopy, as long as I can get to the next rodeo, that's the kind of barrel racer I am. I'm hungry for it. Okay, so I drove halfway. We drove, me and Cody both drove halfway. And then I had an event at home that I could not miss. So then I had to catch a flight from, where was I, Kansas City? Yeah, that's, that's like the best airport we could get to. Yeah, Kansas City was the best airport. So I got home, took like a 5 a.m. flight, and got home at 7 a.m. to end up making it to the event. Cody made it that night, um, way later, um, but I made it to the event and the horses all made it home safely. Thank you, Coco. Um, and then we had some more places to get to. Okay, so now it's time to go to Coffeeville, Kansas. You guys check this out. Katniss got us here, so now it's time to go do work. No money for us at Coffeeville. It's time for Cody to make a run. Okay, we 
all wish we would have done a little bit better, but we are so proud that we're back on the road and going. It's time for more rodeo action. Now we're headed home to Mesquite, Texas. Okay, so we have nothing but our runs. We have no tacking up, we have no nothing, but we have our runs, so we actually went there. I rode Flowbot, Cody's gonna ride Mojo. Um, it's a downpour. Like, if you've ever been in North Texas during a downpour, it, it doesn't play. It's like really hardcore, but here we go. Just ready? plus five I was like no 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 okay I'm so excited about my run on Flowbot he was so good I'm currently winning third so I just hope it holds for a check I'm really excited but now it's time for Cody to go yeah Cody Cody tipped a barrel to place here and we're getting so close to her filling her card or her permit. So that was a bummer. However, she's just right there. So uh, we're almost there. Now, as luck would have it, you guys, we get to go someplace very special. Where you might ask? Oh, we're going to Aberdeen, South Dakota, home of Katniss Aberdeen, sponsored by the dealership that I bought my truck at which they were less than helpful, but that's beside the point. It's fine, we got home. It's time to go run there. Why would we do such a thing? Why would we tor torture ourselves with going right back? Well, it's a WPRA tour, so we're going right back. Time to at least enjoy some, some fun there in Aberdeen. We did get to visit um, a couple of members of the amazing family that helped us out so much while we were there. So again, huge shout out to them. Everybody in Aberdeen was so kind to help us while we were there. So now we're gonna try to leave with some Aberdeen cash instead of just leaving our cash in Aberdeen. So I'm up first on Hush Money, wish me luck. Okay, my girl came through right now. We're winning second. They have slack tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. and then they have a performance tomorrow night. So a lot of rodeo left to go, a lot of really top names, but I'll let you guys know how I end up placing. So 
for right now, um, there was only two sub 16 second runs and we were one of them and I couldn't be more proud. So we're leaving Aberdeen smiling, especially compared to the last time that we left Aberdeen where we had to get a new truck. So we're feeling a little bit better. All right guys, on to the next one. Now it's time for Cody to make a run. A barrel. Yes. <laughs> this hey, I've already done this once. <laughs> I did this. Hey, Cody, again, this close. You're gonna find a common theme as she's learning and as she's getting even faster, and that's the, the mistakes are easier to make. So when you dial things in to a tenth of a second, you're starting to get down to a hair's breadth away from being first or hitting a barrel, and that's just how this is gonna go. So unfortunately, no money for Cody. I got some money, so I left with some money from Aberdeen. Now it's time to head home. By the way, our Dodge, no, our Dodge is home, I think. Is it? I don't know. I don't know where the Dodge is. I don't know where the Dodge is. Yeah, the, the Dodge, I did pay for it to get hauled back to Texas. I don't know where it is right now. If anybody needs a shell of a Dodge, let your girl know. Um, I am gonna drop a new motor in it. I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Anyway, my truck is somewhere. The Dodge, I don't know. And I love it, it's like my dream truck because it had the big giant grill guard and the headache rack and the step sides and super ranchy, but it was a layer me whatever edition with the fancy, you know, stuff. Longhorn, long layer me longhorn, yeah. Anyway, fancy schmance. And I loved her and she did. So. I don't know where she's at or when she's coming home, but somebody's got her and they're taking care of her because we're gonna put a motor in her. That's the end. You guys, I hope you love this vlog. This was, this was an adventure for sure. You guys have an amazing rest of your day. Please subscribe to this vlog. Make sure to ding that notification bell. Be sure to text Ranchy to 900-900 to get updated on all of the amazing new stuff that you've seen from these vlogs and that are launching very soon. I can't wait to see you guys at the next rodeo. As always, don't forget to count your blessings. Drink your protein and say thank you to Jesus. See you next time.